start doing all the dishes. I told you guys I'm obsessed. Hey guys, I think this is the first time that I'm actually like vlog styling this and talking to you. But um, essentially today is my very first day of Thanksgiving break. I opted to stay here at my college town as opposed to going home for break because on Monday actually, today is Saturday, on Monday I'm going to go on a school trip to Portland, Oregon. Um, basically the Murrow College of Communications, so one of my majors colleges, is going to take us to a, um, like a reporting studio or yeah, like a, like a news studio and we are going to shadow some people, so I'm excited about that. I don't know if it's the lighting. I hope I don't actually look like this in real life, but I look a little bit um, dead. So anyway, so not even gonna lie, I have a shot list planned out. I don't know if you can see it over there on the counter. And I was at first gonna make like a really cutesy little aesthetic video like this morning and it's fun, but I mean, I just kind of want to talk to you guys. Anyway, so something to note actually. So this happened to me last Sunday. And I was like, oh my gosh. Basically, all you need to know was that last Sunday I went to an went to an event that the Asian American Pacific Islanders Club was putting on on campus. Um, and then the girl that was handling the tickets at the very front, she actually recognized me and she said that she was watching my videos right before she came to the event to start working. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like that caught me very off guard. So that was super cool. It's just so crazy. It's just absolutely insane to me. So right now we're averaging once a month of people coming up and talking to me saying that they watch my videos, which I love. I love when people come up and say that. That got me thinking. I was like, okay, how many people, how many people watch my videos and see me around campus, see me at my job, whatever, and they just don't say hi, but all these people at least have seen part of one single video. That's just crazy. And I was like, damn. You know what else is crazy to me? This. All right, contacts are in. Eyelashes are curled and argan oil has been applied. They look a lot better. Anyway, I'm back to my natural form. I haven't seen myself without my glasses on in, gosh, probably like two weeks. So I'm happy to be back to my natural form. Anyway, here is this dope ass Harley Davidson shirt changed into something more shapely. And now we are headed out to get this Thanksgiving box. And it's probably going to be about a 30 minute trip around way walking. And this is going to be a heavy thing. So wish me luck. Taste test. <laughs> they gave us dinner rolls, which we will show oh, These are actually good. I don't want that one. Anyway. So let's get into a little haul of what we got. Overall, honestly, this is probably like, in today's economy, maybe like a $60 value. Yeah? This is definitely like a $60 value. Let me show you. Hold on, let me turn my little flip screen down. Okay, so we got some really nice apples. Washington apples. I like the red ones. And then, I don't know what this is. I've never had this before. It's like a butter, a butter alternative but it's like vegetable oil spread. So like. So we've got two huge boxes of that. We got nice milk for lattes. Um, This is interesting. I didn't know this was a thing. So this is crouton stuffing. Growing up, my mom never liked stuffing, so she never made it for us. So the only time I really tried stuffing was um, actually the other day at the dining hall. And it was pretty good. So I'm excited about that because I love croutons. He loves croutons. Hannah is normal, so she probably likes croutons. And then and look at look at this. This raises the value of the whole thing because this would this amount of pistachios, I mean, it's like almost ten bucks or more. Actually, no, this is probably like fifteen dollars worth of pistachios. So I love pistachios. And so I don't know like what we're gonna do with it, but so. we're gonna eat them because I love them. So we've got that. You can make baklava. I was thinking that we actually could make baklava. Okay. We got some green beans, nice and healthy. We got some corn. Love. I love corn. We have olives. I don't like olives, do you? I do, but only in certain things. Okay. Well, those are for Andrew. 
if he makes them his certain way. Um, we got cranberry sauce jelly. I'm excited about that. Let me make cranberry um, jelly for the turkey with the fresh cranberries that you bought. Can you make sugar free? No. Sheesh! <gasps> they said 10 to 12 pounds. This is 15 pounds, so. Did you want to say anything? Yeah, so to all the boyfriends out there, and if you're a girlfriend, I have a boyfriend. Um, let, me, let me know if you have the same ick that I do. One thing that I hate about her is how she tries to make everything sugar free and doesn't. When she tries to make it, she just uses things in her head that she thinks will work with no experience. And so the recipe always comes out like dog shit. That's not true. And she true. tries to make things. She tries to make things that are unsugar, unsugar free, makeable, sugar free. No, let me, let me. No, 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 no. Look how pretty you look. I I know. I've been telling the vlog that. Look look at how bad my tan looks on the camera. <laughs> Wait, I'm actually darker than you now. You're not. I'm gonna wear this. <laughs> anyway, no, what he's referring to is my banana bread. No, I'm referring to the cranberry sauce because you can't make I it. I never tried making the cranberry sauce. He's trying. He's trying to insinuate that the Emma McDonald banana bread with the sugar-free maple syrup is not good. You, it's good. You know that you like it. Literally, this recipe is good to the point. It was point. a rock. That was because I messed up. Yeah, I know you messed up. Anyway, when I don't mess up. It's delicious and it go I might I don't have to talk about it. Basically also last year I made a great creation. I made a yogurt chocolate cake and it was amazing. Now that your food is fucked up when you call them creations. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, bye. Bye Andrew. Mess. <laughs>
But the thing is, is that I used to do, um, the thing is that I used to use the law of attraction. I would journal, I would do my affirmations. I would try to meditate, but I could never do it just because my mind would just not stay still. So I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting to me. It really freaks me out. As you could tell from earlier when I flashed you on um, the stories that I was listening to, I'm a huge paranormal believer, ghosts, spirits, that whole thing. So I don't know. It's, it's just very interesting to me. And I'm also a huge history nerd, so I am thinking back to um, like the Celtic people, so my ancestors and their practicing of paganism and that whole thing. And then when Christianity came and took over. So it's definitely very interesting from a historical and spiritual aspect. But I don't know, the whole thing kind of scares me. I'm like, should I go back to doing my law of attraction? Should I not? It's just interesting. Drop your thoughts down below. So just to reiterate, if crystals in the universe are your jam, so be it. We'll still be cool, obviously. I personally don't really care either way, and I mean that in the best way possible, as in I'm neutral. So that's the end of the video. I didn't vlog my trip for multiple reasons, um, but here's a little clip of me. They let me record a new segment, which is awesome. I had a great time, and I'll tell you more about it in my next vlog. So I'll see you there.